At what point do you move your newborn from the bassinet to the crib and how do you make this transition? This has everything to do with naps, so it's nap week. Let's talk about newborn napping. If you've been utilizing the bassinet, which I loved, that was an incredible resource for our two girls. You have maybe been wondering like, when do they grow out of this and when do I have to go to the big scary crib? I hear this every single week on our Instagram Q&A. Y'all are asking me, how do we make the transition from bassinet to crib? Well, I actually cover this pretty well extensively in our newborn course. And it actually is no big secret. It's not much to it. You just go from the bassinet to the crib. But you're here to learn more about it. So I wanna give you Becca wisdom here on this. If you've stuck around our YouTube, Instagram, blog long enough, you know I'm not super like <gasps> hyped up anxious about things. I'm a pretty chill person. But when you are making the transition from the bassinet to the crib, it's really not that scary, I promise. Unless you are using the snoo, which is a completely different topic, which gives your baby a lot of props and a lot of help. We'll do a different video for you. <laughs> but if you are going from a traditional bassinet to a crib, how can we make this change successfully? Now, I want you to focus on the first nap of the day. Your newborn is not gonna have every single nap in their bassinet or in their crib. They're just not. They're gonna go to sleep every 45 to 60 minutes, so you cannot be a prisoner to your own home. You need to get out, you need to go for a walk, you need to take care of yourself. But they will have a few naps in their bassinet or in their crib. So here's what I want you to do. If you have never utilized the crib for a nap, just start with the very first one. The first nap of the day is usually the easiest. They are, they, they are awake in the morning. I was about to say they've been sleeping all night, but they haven't. You've had multiple feeds. They've been asleep all night. Okay, air quotes here. They wake up in the morning, 45 minutes later, they're like, oh, I'm so tired. Great, put them down for their nap. In the morning, we all have the most what's called sleep pressure. This is because we've slept through the night and we're like still carrying this like cloud of sleepiness above us and it kind of disappears during the day. But we wake up and we sometimes still feel sleepy and your newborn is the same way. And you will prob probably find the most success if you can have that first nap in the crib because they're the most ready to go to sleep. So let's focus on nap one in the crib. Do all of the same things that you always do for your newborn. You've got the swaddle action going. You're helping them fall asleep because remember, newborns can't help themselves. You have to help them. In my newborn course, we walk through the methods of how to teach your little one that you can help them go to sleep, but they could start to do a little bit on their own. We walk through the pick up, put down method. We walk through the five S's. All of these things are vital to help your newborn fall asleep. So in our newborn course, if you're like, I gotta learn more about this, check out the link below, grab that newborn course. It is everything you need to know for the zero to three month old. But your newborn, you're going to help them fall asleep and you can do this by helping them fall asleep in the crib. It is a really great way to just start getting them used to sleeping in their crib. You don't have to just jump in and say you're gonna sleep in your crib at nighttime. Just ease in with that first nap of the day. And then maybe later on, you wanna add another nap in the crib. Now for these newborns, they're having five, six naps per day. I don't expect all of these to be in the crib or the bassinet. You're gonna have a lot of them on the go and that's great. So just commit newborn mom, newborn caretaker, nap one, let's just start there. Start nap one of the day in the crib and then enjoy the rest of the day. Naps on you, cause that's the joy of a newborn. Enjoy them and commit to just that very first nap, going from the bassinet to the crib. It's not that scary. If you want all of the juicy details of routines and structuring your day, you're gonna absolutely love our newborn course. Check that out, link below. But I mostly want you to know it's not scary. They're going to do a great job. Give them some credit, give yourself some grace, take a deep breath and commit to that first nap of the day. Comment below how it's going as you try this. Treat this as a little support group and you're gonna do a great job. All right, sweet dreams. See you here tomorrow for day four.